When, when we were writing it back in a little studio in Melbourne, we didn't expect it to be as successful as, as, it, as it is. Um, so we kind of had no expectations. It was our first album. We'd never toured the world before. We'd never played music for a living before. So totally no expectations. None. It means everything for us to tour. We're, we're a band. Not every band likes to tour. Some bands they just like to go to the studio and make music, and you know, uh, we're we're we like to do that as well. But we love touring. So I guess it's the it's the lifeline of the temper trap. You start getting used to the lifestyle of touring, and then that becomes the norm. That becomes normal everyday life, and sitting on a beach on holidays or hanging out at your parents' house for two weeks, that's not normal. You get, you get crazy and you're like, oh, just put, put me to work again, you know? So. It didn't happen at the time I was writing the album. It happened during, the, during touring the last album. So, I, you know, when, when, when it was time for me to write the lyrics for the new record, um, that's what came out. I obviously had a lot of things to say about my past relationship still. I thought I was over it, but I guess I wasn't. <laughs> love is an important thing for you, and you, and you, and everyone. What is love for you? Oh, I mean, love is, you know, it depends what kind of love we're talking about. Obviously, I'm writing about a love between, you know, a boy and a girl, and it's romantic kind of love, you know, but then there's the love of your parents, there's the love of God, there's the love love for the poor, there's all kinds of things, but I think ultimately love is, is sacrifice, it's when you are able to totally do something for someone else and not yourself, that is pure and true love. I think the reason why I mean, I love doing what I do, and it just so happens, I don't know why, it just so happens that I was born with the ability to sing, okay? I believe it's what I'm meant to do, but as a, as a human being, when I'm on stage, I, I think I, I seek, not so much a person, but I seek um, maybe validation, or I seek something from the crowd to make me feel like what I do is, is worthwhile, because... I can make music for myself, but it isn't, doesn't really mean anything until someone else reacts to it. So. I don't know if there's two sides. I think they're just kind of like all gelled into one. It's romantic, powerful, and pop at the same time. Some of the romantic songs are kind of poppy. You know? I don't know if it affects my music as such, but uh, as, as a person who travels a lot and, and, you know, one day I'm in this culture and then I get on a plane and I wake up and I'm in, a Japan, I'm, I'm in Japan and I'm in a totally different culture and then I come to Mexico and it's, you know, as, because uh, I grew up traveling a lot, um, it's easy for me to assimilate, it's easy for me to kind of go along with, with how the locals do it, you know what I mean? Uh, I can eat anything. I pick up languages quite quite easily. Like I'm not, I'm not I'm not fluent in Spanish, but I can pick up like phrases here and there. And, and I'm very interested in culture and food and different people and different looks and different music. So I I love it. I don't think that's entirely true because I'm sure there's some places where certain music music is banned. You know. Um, for the for for the, for the general public to listen to, and that's why there's like an underground metal scene in Baghdad, Iraq, or I don't know. Maybe kids are listening to rap music in Kabul in Afghanistan without anyone knowing for fear of I don't know. You know, they might get in trouble. So. But yeah, I mean, music, that's the beauty of music. It transcends all all borders, all barriers, and um, it's a beautiful thing. Accept it. Oh, uh, tonight is gonna be. Um,
tonight is going to be our 300. Since we started touring internationally, it's going to be our 363rd show. So I don't know how to answer that question, obviously. Um, but I will tell you this. One show that was very memorable was Corona Capital. Up until then, we had never played to a crowd that big before. Um, it was estimated somewhere around like 30,000 or something like that. You know? And um, it was insane because we didn't have anything out here, but I guess through the power of internet, obviously, people just know your music from the internet. And at certain points, I couldn't hear myself sing because the, the crowd was singing like so loud. So that was amazing. Kind of like it's Halloween, so maybe people will dress up and get a little bit, you know, kind of, you know, we're gonna put on a party tonight. It's not gonna be too, it's not gonna be too serious. There's gonna be some serious moments, but there's gonna be some, you know, a bit of a party as well. I think it's amazing. I think um, <clears throat> from what little I know of the, you know, the ancient civilizations of, of Mexico, the Aztecs and the Mayans and. The guys went to see the pyramids the other day. I've seen the the pyramids in, in you know in Tulum and stuff, the Mayan pyramids, and they were so advanced for that time. They had their own mathematical um, um, structure and 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 just how everything was built. And everything. It's, it's 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 really impressive. And they had their own calendar system. Um, and I th I think for uh, modern Mexican culture. Um, I think I think it's amazing as well. Obviously, we tour. We don't come to Mexico that often, unfortunately, but we tour America a lot. And America is just is just like another Mexico because there's so many Mexicans there, and and they've really taken on your culture as well. And it's I mean, let's be honest. What is American food? It's probably Mexican food is American food. They love it. You know, I know white Americans that will like go to Australia or go to Europe and they'll say that, oh man, I'm, I really miss Mexican food. They're, right, they're not going to say, oh, I'm not, you know, I could kill for a cheeseburger. Be like, I could die for some tacos right now. You know? Rolling Stones, Pink Floyd, Radiohead. It's like cooking, man. You know, you gotta be adventurous. Sometimes it works, sometimes it tastes awful. <laughs> so you just gotta know, you have to have a good palate for what, what works and what doesn't. Rap and rock usually doesn't work. I mean, Rage Against the Machine is probably the only one that can do it and pull it off and you know, but. Uh, well, music used to be just like a, a pastime, a hobby or something to kind of make me feel better or make me feel a certain way but obviously now music is a lot more you know it's uh, it's it's my livelihood it's uh, it's almost like a child that I have to be responsible of you know I can't treat it just you know I have to I have to I have to look after myself so that I can perform my music well Maybe it's it's taken on a whole different different meaning it encompasses a lot more and the trick is to still even though you know this is our 363rd show and you do it every day every night you do it the trick is to still have that same mindset of what music was to you when, before all this happened when it was just me playing guitar in my room of course I get bored yeah, I have moments. I don't get bored all the time, you know. Um, but yeah, there's moments. It's not always. It's not always easy. I've never professed in front of people or even to the, my other band members that I am the, the leader of, of this band. Okay, I'm. I'm <clears throat> Usually, usually when when people can't make up their mind, I get sometimes impatient. And I'm like, okay, let's just do this. And maybe because I'm that way, my personality my personality is that way. People look look to me to, uh, you know, what should we do? You know. But I don't do it on I don't do it on purpose. I don't do it because I I want to be the leader of the band. You know. I I sing and naturally because I'm the guy that sings that people. Actually, kind of look like to me. 
but I, I didn't I never set out to be the leader it is it is just what it is it, it, it works and um, but everybody has has a say you know we're, we're a democratic band sometimes sometimes you just need someone to be like nah this is what we're doing <laughs> you know okay is tonight gonna be the most amazing show in Mexico ever in the history of Mexico <laughs> C certain? It is certain. Yes, I was wrong. Thank you, number eight ball. There you go. Look out for us. It's going to be an amazing show tonight.